In this problem, we need to solve a quadratic inequality. So instead of an equal sign, there's going to be a greater than or less than or greater than or equal to or less than or equal to. And then to graph that solution on a number line. A lot of this is the same as solving quadratic equalities, um, but then there are some little differences. So I'll, I'll show you how to do this. First of all, I want to see if I can factor this thing. So just like I would with a, a quadratic equality, I'm going to put everything on the left side of the equation and a zero on the right side of the equation. So I'm going to add eight here. So this gives me x squared minus 6x plus 8. And that's greater than 0 now. OK. This I think I can factor. Um, I'm trying to think of numbers that would multiply out to a positive 8 and add up to a negative 6. And I'm getting in my head uh, a negative 2 and a negative 4. Negative 2 times negative 4 is positive 8. And negative 2 plus negative 4 is negative 6. If you're unsure about these factors, you can multiply them together and see if you get this quadratic. I think you will. Uh, but you can double check my work on that one. So we have x minus 2 and x minus 4 as our factors here. And what we want to do to solve these is set them each equal to 0. And then solve for x. So we add 2 to both sides. We would get x equals 2 and x equals 4. Now, here's where things might diverge a little bit. Um, to graph this inequality, what we want to know is where this parabola is above 0. So it's above the x-axis. We have two points of interest. Our solutions here, that's where the parabola crosses the x-axis. So at 2 and at 4, those are our points of interest. And what we want to do is know, you know, is this um, going to be positive to the left and right of this, or is it going to be positive between them? You might, if you're visualizing this in your head, you might already guess that since this is a, a positive value on the x squared term, this is going to be an upward opening parabola, and it's going to look like, you know, something like this. So the places where the value of the function is greater than zero are going to be to the left of the two and to the right of the four. You can also double check this by testing a value. So look at 3. It's right in between 2 and 4. So let's determine if this region is, is greater than 0 or not. We can do that by plugging 3 in here. So put in a 3 for x. We would get 3 squared. That's 9. Uh, negative 6 times 3. That's negative 18. So 9 minus 18 plus 8. Is that greater than 0? Well, 9 minus 18, negative 9 plus 8, that's a negative 1. It's not greater than 0. So this drawing we did seems to be right. So let's go ahead and graph this now. The regions we want are to the left and to the right of our points of interest. This is just a, a simple greater than. So our circles are going to be empty circles. And then we would shade in this direction. And then an empty circle here and shade in this direction. So that is how to solve a quadratic inequality and graph it on the number line.